Good morning, good morning, people of God. How are you doing today? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Here we are again to call upon King Jesus. How many of you are ready to call upon Jesus this morning? It's a great blessing to come to you in Jesus' name. What a great blessing. <clears throat> Today's Tuesday, the 5th. And here we are to call upon the Lord. <clears throat> How are you doing? Praise the Lord. <clears throat> where where are you watching from this morning? <clears throat> Praise the Lord. People of God, uh, before I go any further, I want to make a, 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 a quick announcement here. <clears throat> I mentioned to you guys, you know, I've been sharing with you that I'm, I'm about to go overseas, leaving tomorrow, tomorrow, December the 6th, I'm leaving to our vacation, you know, my family and I were going to be traveling to the nation of Brazil to spend a month with our family down there. And uh, I count with your prayers. Just keep us in prayer for a safe trip. And also, I want to uh, I want to tell you that, unfortunately, people of God, tomorrow I won't be able to pray with you because uh, we still have a lot of things to get done before our trip. I thought that I was going to be able to get done everything. Okay, uh, but I still have, today, I have a lot of things that I have to do, to you know, before a trip, and so, I won't, I won't be here with you tomorrow, okay, so today is the last day of this week's prayer, and then when I get there, maybe, maybe by Friday, I'll be able to live stream again, maybe Friday, maybe Thursday. No, nah, Thursday's not going to work. Maybe by Friday, I'll be able to, you know, go live and share with you guys how the trip went. So, uh, you know, today is going to be the last day. I was going to pray with you tomorrow morning again, uh, you know, uh, uh, as well. But I just have a, a lot of things that I have to do. So, you know, uh, I won't be able to, to be here with you tomorrow morning. Amen. So this morning, let's just pray for one another. Amen. Cover us in your prayers. I appreciate if you can do that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the month of December for my family, you know, for my daughter and my wife, it's always a highlight. It's, you know, it's the time of the year they love to go to see. You know, my daughter, she wakes up every morning saying, is it today the day we're going to see grandma? She wants to see grandma. And um, so, you know, we all like to see our family this time, you know, this time of the year. So uh, <clears throat> many people, they have their family close to them. They live close by. You know, we don't. If we want to see our family, we have to travel a <laughs> long distance. But it's it's all good. It's always a blessing. So um, keep me in your prayers. You know, my family and I in your prayers. And uh, I'll be live streaming from Brazil when I get there. Maybe on the 8th. 
We'll see. Praise God. And on the 8th, I'll, I'll let you know. If I go live on the 8th, I'll let you know. But I, I think that I'll, I'll be able to pray with you guys. Continue to pray in the morning from Brazil. Uh, I think it's going to work. We'll see. I'll let you know. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Before we pray, let's just meditate on Psalms uh, chapter 1. I was reading this passage again this morning. He always bless me. This Psalms is just a blessing. Psalms 91. Oh, Psalms 91. Psalms no. <laughs> Psalms chapter 1, not 91. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. The, the Bible says, Blessed, blessed, somebody say blessed. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And, his, and in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Hallelujah. Where whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he or she does prospers. Amen. This is just beautiful. Once again, verse 2 says, But he, his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree, Planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves also will not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. That's what happens when we find our joy in the presence of the Lord, meditating his word. Amen. When we get the word, when we meditate in the world, in the word of God, we live by the word. We become fruitful in everything we do. Amen. I've been thinking a lot lately about the fruit. How God expects us to bear fruit. The Bible says that we are known by our fruits. Amen. How important it is to bear fruit. Amen. Fruit of righteousness. Fruit. Good fruit. For the kingdom of God. Amen. All the work that we do for God. All the fruit that we bear. It's not because we're trying to earn God's favor or salvation. Amen. We do it. We bear fruit. Amen. We follow him because he loves us. It's not because we are trying to get saved. We're trying to impress God. Now, everything we do, we do because we love Him. We do because we are in love with Him. Amen. But that's what happens when we are in His presence daily, when we meditate in His Word, when we put into practice the Word of God, we become like a tree planted by the rivers of water, the streams of water. And we bear fruit in its season. Amen. We bear much fruit. How many of you want to bear fruit? 
How many of you want to bear much fruit? I don't know about you, but I want to bear much fruit. I want to bear much fruit. I want to, to please the Lord in every way. And I want to bear fruit that glorifies Him. Amen. One of the signs of a healthy believer, one of the signs is the fruit they bear for God's kingdom. We must bear good fruit. We must bear fruit for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Just place your hand in your heart. Say, God, I want to bear fruit. I want to be a good tree bearing much fruit for your kingdom. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we want to bear fruit. We don't want to we don't want to come before you empty-handed. We we want to bear much fruit. Everything that we do is not because we are trying to earn your favor. We are not saved by works. But we love you so much. We love so much. We live according to your word. We live to please you that everything we do prospers. And he bear good fruit for your kingdom. I pray for my brother, my sister this morning. I pray that you bless each and every one of them. Then in every area of their lives, they'll bear good fruit. I pray, Father God, bless your people. We come before you again this morning. To lift up the name of Jesus. We say that you are everything to us. The things of this earth will pass away. But our life with you. Our relationship with you is eternal. We thank you so much for allowing us to come together again. What a beautiful day. Another beautiful day ahead of us. And we ask you, God Almighty, that you touch us, that you strengthen us. That you give us eyes to see. That you give us ears to hear. That you give us, Father God, wisdom revelation, insight that you show us the way. I pray this morning for every person that's in need of answers, every person that's in need of a direction, everybody, Father God, that is praying with me this morning that they are believing you for a direction, for an answer. I pray God Almighty, Bless your people. Let revelation come from heaven. Let the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, show each and every one of them. I pray that you give them direction, that you guide them, that you lead. Lord God, everyone believing you for a direction, believing you, Lord God, for a Clarity. Father, I pray, touch your people. Bless your people. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for clarity. For every confusion. To go in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you give them clear direction. And what to do. The steps to take. The way to go. 
I pray, Father God, touch your people. I pray, Father God, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in the life of my brother, my sister. I pray that you strengthen each and every one of them in the power of the Holy Spirit. My brother, my sister, if you need direction, if you need clarity, if you need answers from God, pray, lift up to the Lord, ask the Lord, whatever area that you're believing God for answers, that you believe in God for a direction, that you believe that you're believing for clarity of mind, lift up to the Lord, ask the Lord to guide and to lead you today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. I pray in agreement with your people. I pray the prayer of faith. Lord God, I pray. Let answers come from heaven. This person, Father God, that's in need of an answer. God Almighty, we call upon you and we ask you. Let answers come. Let answers come in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for answers. We pray that you guide, that you lead them. Your word says that blessed is the man who meditates in your word day and night. Blessed is the man who put his, his trust in you. Father, we put our trust and our hope in you. And we ask you this morning that you come through for us. That you give us answers. That you give us clarity. That you speak to us. We give to you our burdens. We give to you all of our burdens. Every area in our lives that we need a breakthrough. We ask you to touch us. We ask you that you strengthen us. We ask you God Almighty come through for us. I pray that you bless your people. I pray that you strengthen your people. I pray Father God. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. Let the blessings of heaven come upon your people. Father God, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you, God Almighty. Because you answer. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for every, every heaviness, every worry, spirit of worry, I, I speak in the name of Jesus. To leave this person every worry. Confusion in the head. I pray Father God touch your people. Everything that hinders them to hear from heaven. And I pray let your voice come. Let your voice. Let my brother my sister hear your voice today. Showing them the way. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Father, we worship you, we praise you. Come, Holy Spirit, and touch us today. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill us today. Come, Holy Spirit, fill us. Father God, I pray that you bless this home. I pray that you bless this family. I pray, Father God, for your peace in this home. I pray, Lord God, for salvation in this home. I pray for the protection upon this home. I pray, Father God, for our families. I pray that you keep our families. I pray, Lord God, that you keep our families strong, healthy. I pray that you draw our families closer to you. I pray that you bless our families in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, for unity. For healing. I pray, Lord God, for protection. I pray, Father God, that your presence will bring healing, will bring unity to our families. I pray, Father, that you'll break every evil assignment of the enemy against our families. I pray, Lord God, that you'll bring healing to your families. Bring wholeness to your families. Protect our families. Lord God, I pray for a hedge of protection. Let every evil plans of the enemy against our families to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, let us let our family, let us finish this year strong. Let us finish this year in faith. Let us finish, Father God, this strong trusting and believing you. God Almighty, touch us. God Almighty, bless our families. I pray, Father God, that you give direction to us. That you give direction to every person praying with me this morning. I pray, Lord God, for a clear direction. It's your will to guide and to lead us. It's your very will to point us in the right direction. And so I pray, touch your people. It strength your people. Bless your people, Father God. In your precious and wonderful name, I pray. Thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness. I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory. I thank you, Father God, for everything that you're doing today. I bless my brother, my sister. I bless those who are desperate. I bless those who are so desperate for a touch. Those who are so desperate for a miracle. Those who are in desperate need of answer. Those who are in desperate need of direction. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch them. Touch them. For such a time as this, I pray. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord.
I rebuke the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of discouragement. I rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus, every fog, every hopelessness in oppression, I rebuke by the blood of Jesus. I speak clarity of mind. I speak clarity of mind. Touch your people, Father God. Touch your people. For such a time as this. Amen and amen. Praise God. My brother, my sister, I have to get going this morning a little bit early because I have a lot of things that I have to get done before our trip tomorrow. Amen. But it's been a great joy, a great blessing to pray with you this morning again. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Let's keep our eyes upon the Lord Jesus. I appreciate you for all your prayers. Amen. Praise the Lord once again. I want to say that uh, for those who came late, tomorrow morning I will not uh, be praying with you because I will be traveling tomorrow evening. And so I have a lot of things that I have to get done before I leave. So I won't be able to be here with you tomorrow. But as soon as I arrive in Brazil and I'm, you know, and I set up my studio there, then I'll, I'll go live. And I will continue to pray. Amen. People of God, please share this video, like the video, help us to get the word out. I appreciate if you can do that. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Open your hands like this. Let me pray a final prayer over you. My brother, my sister, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother, my sister, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you. And I bless you. If you receive us, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, have a blessed day. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. And I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you when I get to Brazil. Amen. I won't be here tomorrow, as I said. I have a lot of things I have to get done before this trip. So I'll see you when I get to Brazil. Praise God. I love you. Uh, let me pray a final prayer for my ministry partners, those who partner with us, who pray for us. Let me pray for your Father. In Jesus' name, I bless my ministry partners. I bless every one of them, Lord God, that they stand with us. Lord God, everyone that pray for us, that stands in a gap for us, praying, covering us. Lord God, the, the prayer warriors, the intercessors, the Lord God, every one of them, that they take the time to pray, to intercede for my family and I for this prayer channel. I pray that to bless them. Everyone that gives via super chats, super stickers. Lord God, those who give through the links in the description of this video. I pray that you bless them abundantly. I pray God Almighty, bless them financially, bless them in their career, in their business, in their finances. Bless the work of their hands. Prosper them in every way. I pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And praise God. My brother, my sister, I love you. Have a wonderful day. And keep your eyes upon Jesus. Amen. I'll see you soon. Shalom. Peace.